Blessings part three, you all. So I'm going to start off reading at 14, 2 Peter 3, verses 14 through 16. And then I'm going to read 17 to 18. This is in the Message Bible. Now, if you are just seeing this video for the first time, go back and look at part one and two so you can get a better understanding of what scripture it is I am reading for you all. This is the scripture that God laid on my heart. This morning, go back and listen to part one and listen to how it was on my heart. What happened? What what happened and how I came across this scripture? Okay, so my dear friends, since this is what you have to look forward to, do your very best to be found living at your best in purity and peace. Enter prep our master's patient restraint for what it is, salvation. Our good brother Paul, who was given much wisdom in these matters, refers to this in all his letters and has written you essentially the same thing. Some things Paul writes are difficult to understand. Irresponsible people who don't know what they are talking about twist them every which way. They do it to the rest, to the rest of the scriptures, to destroy themselves as they do. So anyone who is... Miss it's rep it misreading these scriptures and teaching them, they is doing it to themselves too, messing up themselves as well, messing up the person, the people they are reading it to and trying to, you know, explain it to or whatever, plus themselves, because we cannot switch God's word. He do not like that. So if we're gonna read the scripture, we have to read it the correct way. But you friends are well warned. Be on guard lest you lose your footing and get swept off your feet by them, these lawless and loose, talk, loose talking teachers. Grow in grace and understanding of our master and savior, Jesus Christ. Glory to the master now and forever. Yes. Okay, you all. So go back and study this scripture. This is the scripture that was on the floor. This morning when I woke up, I was reading the Bible. I left the Bible on the bed. And it winded up on the floor this morning on 2 Peter 3. So I want you all to go back and look at it. Meditate on it. Pray about it. Read it. Because God wanted us to read these scriptures right here. He wanted us to read them. So I pray that you all get a better understanding of it when you go back and read it. But we are to be living a life that is righteous.